Hey guys, it's your girl Kimberly here with a special guest in my video entitled The Return of the Hybrid Warrior. And you are? I'm Christabel. Hi guys. Thank you so much for letting me be here. <laughs> okay. She actually inspired this Power Ranger fan fiction story called The Return of the Hybrid Warriors. Christabel, where did you get the idea from this story? Hmm. Okay, where I got this from, I got this inspiration from the, the movie, Let's Be Heroes, where the kids, you know, since they were kind of, you know, they had their parents mixtures. And this is also another question I, I need to ask. What got you into Power Rangers? Like, and the Green Ranger did. Um, he's he's the real reason I got in here. Tommy Oliver. I meant JDF. Uh -huh. She um, she doesn't say that we. What made you start watching it? But we're gonna leave that for another day. Maybe another video. Um. So. The Return of the Hybrid Warriors is a Shattered Grid fan fiction story I'm working on. Um, basically, the plot of it is about twins who discover that everything about them has been a lie. That, you know, that there's this epic power that Lord Draken wants and, you know, and they're the key to it. And so... I'm still, it's the, the plot of it and the story is still like a work in progress, but like I have scenes in my head, I have some characters and stuff like that. So, so let's go to, the original title of it was going to be The Legend of the Hybrid Dragons, but then when we found out that JDF was doing The Legend of the, what is it, Legend of the White Dragon, is that what it is? Yeah. We changed the title. But we did want to keep it hybrids. We did want hybrids because we thought it'd be really cool for these twins who discover that they are they're the children of Lord Draken and Ranger Slayer. And, you know, that we wanted them to both be a, what is it, a terror dragon? Is that what they're called? I don't know. I don't dragon know. Dragon Dactyl? Yeah, Dragon Dactyl. I don't know. Hmm. I have no idea. A pterodactyl okay. and a dragon mixed together. That's basically what we're doing. Yeah. And and so, and the way I see Kimberly, because I'm, I'm mostly writing it, is I see her, like the first scene we see her in, she's a waitress at like a burlesque or a bar or something like that. Because she's like 21, 22. She's a loner. She feels like she failed Power Rangers and Zordon because, you know, she love this guy who is Tommy who she's only known for what three days three four days yeah that you know she fell in love with this guy um and he turned evil and she tried to save him and she couldn't so she feels like he failed him failed herself so she's like a loner she's like off the grid off the run so nobody knows where she's at and, you know, basically this woman basically tells Kimberly, you know, you feel broken, you're, you know, you're always running. And, you know, when your journey ends, there's a man waiting for you holding two dragons, like, basically. And what, what I had an idea, but I don't know if I'm going to do it or not, is I thought it'd be really cool if Kimberly in the first scene is actually wearing Tommy's necklace, the the fish, the fish necklace that he wears, because we're basically basing the story off like the Shadow Grid comics and kind of working on like the five episode was it five episodes of the Green Ranger? Like like those though like anything. It was five parts. Yeah, like the, yeah the green with the evil part and those episodes like anything after that didn't happen like their kiss didn't happen or the kiss was different. Um, and that, you know, she had, she dated Matt, she was dating Matthew because in my head, you know, Tommy and Kimberly 
were Twilight. They are they were pre Twilight, which which was great. Pre fifty pre Fifty Shades. I know nobody compares them to Fifty Shades of Grey, but you gotta think of that a girl from divorced parents falls in love with a boy adopted into the perfect family. Yeah, that's Twilight and Fifty Shades, and also Kimberly and Tommy Oliver. So yeah, why did Tim? Ki, Tom, Tommy and Kim really didn't get a happy ever after that. Just that's another reason why we came up with the story because we wanted to give Tommy Oliver and Kimberly Hart a happily ever after. So on with the characters. So I would like to speak <laughs> just before we get on to the characters. Okay. So I would like you. This is just a question for me. How are we going to do the scenes? Are we just going to write them for people who are reading to be like in the, like they're watching from afar? Or are we just going to give them a full on visual? How are you going to do this? I have no idea. I, I'm writing it kind of like a script and stuff like that. Well, I might be able to help because I'm a little bit of an animator. I don't draw good, but I know how to animate things. So, how do you animate people? There's an app. Okay. I'll tell you more about this app. Just okay, so now we're going. Okay, so. So, we have the twins. David is, is named after Tommy's brother, which a lot of people do not know that, but that's where I got the name David from. And he's more of a loner. He's. Quite. More like Kimberly, kind of. Yeah, more like Kimberly a lot, but like I said, he's more, he... Calm, quiet, collective, <laughs> smart, observant. Yeah, he, he likes to be, I mean, he knows martial arts. But, but he's not into it. Yeah, he's not into it. Like, he doesn't do competitions, he doesn't compete, he doesn't tournaments and stuff like that. He's more like, he likes the artsy side, like what Kimberly did, like... The, the whole, you know, painting, the whole music and stuff like that. Like, like that's what he goes to. And he also, you know, he feels like he's got, he's got this burden on him that he feels like he's the only one in the world who's, you know, he doesn't know his mother, you know, because he's grown up thinking his mother died and his father left him, kind of. No. Math, they think Matthew Cook is their dad. Ooh. Gross. No, huh? but what I'm saying is they think their mother's dead. You know, they were brought up believing their mother's dead. You know, they don't know what their mother looks like and stuff like that. You know, you know, and to discover that everything about them is a lie. And then to find out on his journey that there is somebody that understands him. There is somebody that you know knows what he's going through because it's his twin sister and she's gone through it she's gone through the same thing you know she believes her mom's dead and you know and so it's like he at the end of the day the twins got each other back they have each other's back okay and now we're going with the the, the girl dominique which i got her name from Famous gymnast, but also her name means Lord, but they call her Donnie for short, and that means lady. So I have that. So, so, and also, and also, I wanted them different from Power Rangers because you know, these these Rangers, the Power Rangers in the Shadow Grid, they morph and do this. I wanted these kids born with powers, like, like something with the genetic makeup or something with Rita's spell did something to the twins that they they were born they were born with powers. And Christabel, do you want to tell these people what the powers are the twins were born with? Okay, so both twins have the powers to call the zords without the flute they kind of like a sign they both <laughs> that's what they can do well more like the more like not you can do the anyways they both have super strength super speed um 
David can uh, do the force field, right? Yeah, he's the force field. I no, Donnie does it. Donnie, Donnie. does it. Yeah. And I, I can't really remember what David's power was. Special power was. The siren call, the pterodactyl scream, something like that. It's some kind of like a siren. It's either, it's something. And also, we had this idea that when they, what was the one that you like that you got it? Um, um, a smell. She had this idea of where um, Tommy Oliver, when they were born, remembers their smell at least. They have a dragon scent, two of them. And we had a scene, or I have one in my head, that David had a hat on and he dropped it and they picked it up and Draken caught the scent and it gave him a flashback of Kimberly being pregnant. And we just had that idea. And what was so cool about this, this scent is only Draken can catch the scent because it's a scent of the dragon or something. It's a dragon power. So because him being having, having dragon's powers, you he's know, able to he, scent he, he can sense his children and he doesn't because in his mind in ranger slayer's mind their child is dead which is david they believe the coinless killed their son and you know and they are trying to find this power or this key to, to the power to bring their son back from the dead you know they think and if that doesn't work we'll start a war and we'll kill them all you know through or is it just basically take out the, the resurrection of the sun and just we're going to have this war and we're going to kill them all, you know, for justice for the death of our child. You killed my son. We'll kill all of you, you know, except Ranger Slayer is the one that wants Grace Sterling because Grace Sterling was the one that wanted them to, that basically is responsible for the death of their son, so... Which I kind of have an actress in mind of Grace Sterling, but I don't know if I want her. Um, but yeah, for the actors, for the twins, we have Leo Howard to play David because I believe Leo Howard is destined to be Amy Jo and Jason Dave Frank's son. He is destined. And I was telling him because I wanted a boy that could do karate and play guitar and art and do all this stuff. And he does. And this is what's so funny about it. I didn't realize until somebody told me this, but he played in a show called Why Women Kill, and his character's name was Tommy Hart. So, um, so Leo Howard is the actor in mind to play David, and Donnie, I have an actress um, called G. Hernandez. Is that him? how I pronounce her name? Which, if I didn't, I'm sorry. I don't know him. And she's who I have playing Donnie, which is Kimberly and Tommy's daughter, which I love the idea of Kimberly and Tommy having a little uh, uh, daughter because I have this scene in mind of Tommy being with this little girl spinning around like an homage to, what is it, the Green Candle Part 2? Yeah, because we have a lot of homages. You mean the Green Flame Part 2? It's called Green Flame. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what the episode's going on. But, um, like, we do have homages to, like, the movies and the show and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, we have, on um, um, I don't know, like, more of it, it's more of, like, my homages to it. Because, like, there's, like, there's a couple scenes, um, well, there's one scene I got where they get tagged by, what do you call, what is the... The rangers that attacks the kids. They're not, put, they're like putties, but they're not putties. What did you call them? They're like dragonites. They're dragonites. Ain't that what they're called? And they attack the twins. And Donnie grabs one of them. And it's an homage to Kimberly's 666. But she's like, don't you ever, ever, ever touch my brother again. And she kicks him right in the butt. And, um... <laughs> <coughs> And like I said, I won't, like I said, I have the other rangers. I have, we find out that Billy is, is like their doctor who's like watched over the twins and Jason has watched over the twins and 
Zach and Trini did until until Drake and killed her. Yeah, because I'm sorry, but I cannot have anybody other than tr um but uh, tw Tweety Trang. I cannot have nobody play Trini. So I just had that she she even died protecting these twins because that's what it was. And um. <laughs> no, she says I'm gonna cry now. Um, but yeah, and it's just like it's really hard for me because it's like I have scenes and scenes and scenes, and it's like how do I connect these scenes? Like I have my beginning and I have my ending, and it's just like these scenes in the middle. It's like how do you connect them? And and the music, oh my god, my music playlist for these these this movie is like weird and beyond like i have what is it um i have i actually have this idea of draken when he first sees the twins they're at a baby metal concert because i wanted their music to not because i don't want the twins to be like of oh, zach Rapula of like tommy and kimberly i wanted them to be like different than tommy and kimberly i wanted them to be like dark and gritty and stuff like that like even their music case <laughs> Which I really don't think we knew about Tommy and Kimberly's music taste. We just assumed. Let's just assume. assume. Yeah, let's <laughs> just assume. Um, like they're at, like so. We have baby metal like is in like in our playlist of the movie. Um, I had the idea of sis. I had like um, Cisco's Unleashed the Dragon. Like I thought that would be really cool. Um, Skillet, like a couple Skillet songs. Um, there's, the, I mean, it's like different songs, like, um, what is it? Um, Run, running Up the Hill, like that song. Um, like, I, I like, I get a lot of different inspirations, like a lot of like grunge rock, that genre. I, like, that inspires me for scenes and stuff like that. Because that's the type of people, you know, and stuff like that. And it's just really, like, that's the kind of music I want. I mean, it's kind of weird that I, I said Cisco, but it's called Unleashed the Dragon. I just thought that would be a really cool soon, song for them to fight the Dragonites to. And, like I said, um, Hero by Skillet and like Machine Gun Kelly, like I have a lot of songs playlists that inspire scenes in the shit in the in the movie. I mean, I don't know if I want to do it as a movie or, or just a series or a mini like a little mini series. But I mean, in the ending, I have the ending set that we were in another alternate universe that Tommy and Kimberly were not Power Rangers and. And what's so funny about the ending is, is Tommy and Kimberly are not married, but they have the twins. And David and Donnie are five years old. And yeah, and that's how it ends with them, you know, that they got to have this happily ever after life because they deserved it. If Anna, if Anna and Christian and Bill and Edward can have happily ever after, Tommy Hart, <laughs> Tommy Hart. <laughs> That's right. Kimberly and Tommy can have an athlete ever after either. Tommy Hart. <laughs> well, there is a Tommy Hart because Leo Howard played him. Boom. So I guess. So I guess we're gonna finally end this video as I say. So like I said, check me out. On Instagram at Miss Kimberly Dot Jones at eleven fourteen. You can check me out on Twitter at Demonic Ruby and TikTok Woo! at Miss Kimberly Dot Jones at eleven fourteen. And do you want to give out your stuff? Uh, all right. Uh, TikTok. I. Uh, you can find me as Golden Understars Gar Cloud. Same for my Likey account. And also our ah, our clothes. You just whack me with it. Our clothes. You need to check out this. This. <laughs> and this at Carson'sCorner.com. 
on Facebook. Yeah, Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. So, like I said, look up his page because he has a lot of cool Power Rangers merchandise. So, just wanted to shout give out, that out to him. him. Woo! Woo! And like I said, always, I end with this. You're going to end it with me the same way? All right. And one, two, two three. three. Peace. Peace.